make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think. Okay. That's okay, because I know there's a dustpan and brush behind there. It'll be fine. Alex, pour the knife to see carefully into the feeder. Thank you. Because I just wanted to show you, dear viewer, why feeders have got different designs. Because they've got tiny, 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 nine feeders. So tiny, tiny beaks can peck them out. Whereas if the hole was enormous, it would fall out onto the floor. <laughs> and it would look like there was a million little bugs. Number two, we've got normal seed, it's all mixed and it's fairly big. Perfect, Alexander. So see how this hole's much bigger so birds can actually peck it out. Imagine if that was a Niger seed in there, it would just fall out. Whereas this seed can be peckable but not fall out. Number three, peanuts. Tested for aflatoxin, which means they can't damage the health of your birds. Stop, Alex. <laughs> Now this is really important because if you were to feed peanuts just in an open feeder or on a table, there's a possibility, it's not often, but there is a possibility that your birds could choke on them. Whereas now, because they're in a mesh feeder, the birds have to peck at them and when they peck at them, they break them and that makes them digestible and phew, they're not dead. 